All right, guys. So we're going to talk a little bit about a commercial that got released. And if you go to the Dodge YouTube page, you won't be able to see it. You need a direct link in order to see it. And basically, this commercial is so short, but it has a couple of clues into the next, uh, basically, generation or the next kind of Hellcat, basically, in 2019. Uh, now, there's not massive styling uh, upgrades. It was, you know, just the hood. But when you see a Hellcat with that hood on, you're going to uh, know that it has pretty much 800 horsepower. In the commercial, they show a split second of the Hellcat drifting in the desert uh, with the new hood and basically a clue that indicates the horsepower count. And so the new horsepower count is 790 something. I think it was like 797 or 795, something along those lines. That's basically 400 horsepower. And uh, I think that's so awesome. It is so awesome because I thought Dodge was just going to plop a hood, a new hood onto a Hellcat and basically just improve the intake temperatures. But that's not the case. There is additional technology that's going to be under the hood and it's going to have increased performance. So when you see a new Hellcat with that hood, you're going to know that it's going. It, it, it has almost 800 horsepower. So, you know that's really awesome, uh, and 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 that's great and all. But I just want to say, where the where is like ask where the where the charger is at? What's happening with the charger? Uh, is is the charger going to see that bump? Is the charger going to see a new Hellcat hood? Or I, I just you know there's zero information on the charger for, for whatever reason. I don't know uh, what Dodge's plan is, but it seems as though, you know, like in the last year, all the charger has seen was a snorkel in the front grill. I, I, you know, it's cool and all, and that should help with, you know, keeping those intake temperatures as low as possible by bringing in the ambient air and everything. But, you know, where's the upgrades? Where is the, the demon technology, you know, rumors being pushed to the charger? I, I haven't come across any. If anybody has any information, definitely let me know. I've been trying to poke around to see if any of this technology is going to make its way to the charger. Um, for as long as I've seen Dodge, I've always known that the chargers and challengers seem to go, you know, hand in hand. When one would get something, the other would kind of get it. And it seems as though uh, that has not been the case in the last you know, year or so. And uh, it's kind of interesting to, you know, to me because I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, <clears throat> what does Dodge have planned for the Dodge, uh, the Charger? Um, are they keeping it behind closed doors? Is it something big, you know? Um, do they not want to leak something right now or did they pretty much just say, you know what, screw it. The Charger is is fine as is. We don't need to play around with it. Let's just continue our, you know, basically our sports car, which is the, the Challenger. Uh, let's just keep adding to that, improving it, etc. So, you know, I'm kind of curious to know how that's going to work out. If anybody knows anything in the rumor mill, definitely let me know. So either way, that's the commercial. I saw it last night. And I just want to give a big shout out to Dodge Boy for uh, sending me that, that link. Uh, when I went to the Dodge YouTube page, I couldn't see it. Uh, so I had to go back to his comment to view the commercial again. And um, yeah, it was interesting. It definitely interesting. So there you go.